what you doing? You got your ball. I love you, beautiful thing. Hey, it's my beautiful girl. Hello, beautiful people. I do this every week. I'm starting this run way too late. So it's seven miles. I have a route mapped out, but I think I'm going to, I'll be running the same places I had mapped out, but I'm gonna do it in like an opposite direction. So that way I'm in the part that I don't wanna be in after dark now, and then I'm in the very well lit part once it's daylight. Also this week, I have just been terrible. Like it's Saturday, I did my weigh in on Monday. It was very disappointing, I'll talk about that later. Um, and then I just, I have been in a funk this week. It, um, not like a usual funk, I just haven't, I've been lazy on things that I don't need to be lazy on, like post recovery. I also did three runs in a row, so I ran Monday, ran Tuesday, ran Wednesday. And I think that, and during those times, I was on like a heavy cycle, like, and I've never done that. I've never ran three days in a row, one. And then two, I've never done it while being on my period. And so, I'm just, feel so tired anymore but um all the runs felt really good all the way through but today as I was doing the warm-up so I just did the warm-up um I was noticing how tight I am in different places and I'm like this is because you shorted your recovery like so I didn't not do recovery I just didn't do it as extensively as I normally do and that was a mistake and now I'm gonna run seven miles with fuel lots of fueling things so hopefully hopefully it goes good hopefully I don't regret all of my life choices and we're just gonna go ahead and get this show on the road so welcome to another video another way in Wednesday slash marathon prep video from me I'm April Lauren. Welcome to my channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I am in the process of losing 200 pounds. I am a little over 100 pounds down, and I am training for my first ever half marathon. I am still very excited about my half marathon training, and I love what it's doing for me emotionally, mentally, like having something to to focus on that's productive that I feel progress because there's not a lot I can control in life right now but I can control this and when I do things that mess up like I was in control like I did it so it's all me and that's it's a good feeling to be to be responsible for the good and the bad and to have like progress consistently because of things that I'm doing that are good so again no more procrastinating Let's go. Well, the things that were feeling sore while I was doing the warm up do not feel sore now. So that's a good sign, but I'm also like a quarter of a mile in, so <laughs> I have a lot, a lot farther to go, so hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> I've never ran down this way. I'm obsessed with this house. It's so cute. And their little tree with the flowers. I love it. It is so cold though. I should have grabbed a mask. I accidentally took it out of my pack. But, oh well, oh well. So, 
My heart rate is creeping up into zone three. Most of the running that I do, I stay or try to stay in zone two. And anyway, I think it's a little bit of hills. This is not a hilly area, but the hills have me. The hills have my heart rate elevating a little. So it's really good. It's really good for me to be doing it. I think so. to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and is 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into the network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, text, chat, phone, or even video call. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality of care that you would expect from an in-person therapist office, except it's more at your convenience. So wherever I am, whenever is good for me, I can text, I can call, or I can have a video call. I typically prefer video. But whatever your preference is, it's available to help you get the counseling and therapy and guidance that you may need. If you have considered going to therapy, but maybe there's things that get in your way. BetterHelp has made it very convenient and easy. It really helped limit those barriers that could keep you from getting the help that you need. And to save 10% off of your first month, go to betterhelp.com slash April Lauren. Again, that is betterhelp.com slash A-P-R-I-L-L-A-U-R-E-N. And if you want to save that 10%, I've also linked this in the description below. Let's get back to my run. It's wild to think that just a few short months ago, I had no idea that our whole lives would be changing pretty much. Like it's almost everything on our day-to-day -day life is changing. The only thing remaining the same is that we have each other and we have our sweet fur babies. And that's a lot. And training for this half marathon is something that will be constant. It's something that I've been able to do for the last few months and that I will continue to do as we move. And I'm so grateful for that. It's just one more centering thing. It's something that allows me to visualize the future and a life in a place I've never been or visited. Yes, I've never visited, I've never been, I've never been, I've never visited, but still, it just feels good to have something that is preparing me for the future. And it feels good, as I was sharing, having better help, it feels good to have that access for counseling and just to have somebody to talk to that's outside of the day-to-day -day that is a constant. Um, it's beneficial for me and YouTube is such a unique thing and I felt like when things started getting more difficult that I talked about the negative way too much and that didn't just solve but I do feel that counseling has helped a ton with that. So because I'm filming the way I am I mean, I filmed while running, but I haven't looked at footage, so I have literally no idea. I'm just wasting, wasting my time talking to the camera while I run, but hopefully not. Hopefully it's good and clear and all of that jazz. But like I was saying, my pace is a little faster than usual, but my heart rate's up. So I think I tend to tackle small hills, big hills, the up a little faster than usual, which is good. I mean, that's good, right? I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> so 
so it is time to fuel and I'm really not ready for it. Like taking anything right now feels weird and I need to try and I will be. So from basically dark on out, so I'm two miles in for the rest of the run. I won't be filming very much. Um, from some but not very much and focusing on the next five miles so anyway bottoms up under the surface all of the things I couldn't see a ton of construction they have to be building something or something I don't know but I'm not as I'm sad And I want to know what they're building here. I want to know. <laughs> All right, so the next five miles, I am getting to work. I, my coach suggested that as far as priorities go, to push to go a little faster as opposed to fighting for zone two. The next five miles. Well, I'm nearing the end, <laughs> finally. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> I just weighed and um, I'm at 250.5 pounds and it was very frustrating. Like it felt very frustrating to get on the scale and see not the 240s. Like when I got on the scale and I was down into the 240s the, a couple weeks ago, it like made me so happy. I also increased running mileage and this is like an offloading week, I guess is what it's called. That's what my husband called it. I just look at my schedule and my training load this week is not nearly what it has been. I'm wondering how that's going to affect me next week, like if maybe that um, will help. And I'm tracking, but I didn't track perfectly a few times. And I'm just like, let it go, like you're fine. Like your body's holding on, it will let it go. It'll let the weight go. And then the other side's like, no, you're never gonna lose this weight. And My intention with my weight loss is not just to lose the weight, but to lose the weight in a way I'm able to sustain it without obsessing and without turning to all or nothing thinking. My goal is to continue to build healthy habits, to take care of my mental and physical well-being. I share my struggles because I wish I saw someone struggle through facing their own demons, ignorance, and toxic ideologies, and not just reach a healthy weight, but to heal their relationship with their body so when they reach their healthy weight, I reach my healthy way. And as I began to live each day for today, for the day, and as I strive to live each day a little brighter, I felt myself grow strong. I feel myself growing stronger. I'm not perfect. There are bumps, and my story isn't over. It's a real time struggle. I have a long way to go, yet I'm proud to be on the path. I'm proud to be where I'm at right now. Thanks for watching with me and for encouraging me along my way. I am so grateful for you. If you haven't, it really helps if you subscribe, ding the bell, and drop a purple heart down in the comments down below. Love you so much. Have a great week.